All right, just make a new recording so it lessens the chance to play cro cro I am English now. Well, play claw lessens the chance of play claw messing up. Yeah, they didn't turn out so well. The plan there was to sneak up behind him, but of course he conveniently turned uh, turned around right when I was about to hit him. That just kind of threw everything off. Well, I didn't stick the one I wanted to stick, but it worked out in the end. I think I'm just going to kind of spam this assault rifle around. With the plan uh, being, once I run out of ammo, I'll pick up one of these weapons on the ground. Or run out of targets. That works too. Whoop. The Covenant presence here is stronger than I anticipated. They seem to have the entire region secured. Yeah, they tend to do that. Yeah, I think the thing I'm going to try for this one is, for at least for the time being, keep the pistol as my trusty uh, standard weapon and pick up random Covenant weapons just for the sake of, you know, a little more variety and a little less using the good sounding but otherwise horrible assault rifle. Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. I have to say, in general, this is probably one of my favorite levels in the game. You know, it isn't semi-non-linear like uh, level 2 Halo was, but it's a really big, fairly open level. Interestingly designed, big snowy canyons and whatnot. It's tough as nails, but generally fun. Let's see about taking this thing down. I could probably take it down a lot better with a pistol and avoid situations like that. Max, why don't I do that? I think the uh, human weapons are all hit scan in this game anyway. There's definitely no bullet drop. I know that much, but... I can't remember if... Oh, you bastard. Can't remember if any of the Halo games other than 3 used projectiles for anything. Well... For everything, I should say. Since clearly all the Covenant weapons in this one are projectiles. You know what? Fuck the needler. I'm use the plasma pistol. Thankfully, I think everything around here is dead. Just gotta play it real safe until I find another med kit. Hmm. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, you shoot that glass. Oh, it's a bullet casing. Or a shell, rather. Damn it, what's the word? I can't remember the word for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Well, I think I got him anyway. Despite horribly, horribly messing up. You know. Ah, crap. 
No, I didn't get him. Heard him, but didn't get him. Yeah, flip that turret. No one escapes. Yeah, that, that was honestly embarrassing. I don't know why the hell I... I don't know why the hell pressing C to throw the grenade came to mind. Nice camo guy, it doesn't work. Hey, this is going to be problematic here. I'm running out of pistol ammo. Better sit back and let the shields go up. Okay, I don't know what the hell the plasma pistol locked onto there. And thankfully, unlike Halo 3, you don't lose charge for holding down the charge. Or you don't lose battery power for keeping the thing charged. Really stupid mechanic they added there. Is that a hunter right here? That it is. That it is. Time for a new weapon. Surprised that didn't do any damage to me. So I'm fairly certain that hit. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be risky here. I wanna save that med kit for after the battle. Oh, I can't believe I missed him. That's another one. That's another one, isn't it? Shit. Right, it is. All right. Need to find him, take him out. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, the reason I want to uh, save that health kit for after the battle is I don't really want to end up wasting it in the case that I get killed or wounded during the fight. I want to be able to finish this little bit of combat and then head into the next section with full health. Damn it. I could have sworn I was spot on with the targeting there. Okay. Frame rate's at the solid 29, like it always is. Well, I've got more pistol ammo at least. Good thing I didn't accidentally pick up the armor. Or health. Yeah, the frame rate is consistent. I don't know why the game decided to feel a little bit choppy there. Done and done. You see little uh, underlings and a few underlings and grunts and whatnot. Oh, what the hell is just use this? Keep forgetting, you know, this gun does actually have its uses. I just wonder, I saw something come up here on the motion tracker, but I guess not. Go. I think you can actually hurt yourself with the fall damage here by jumping around. Don't really want to test it, of course, but. Simple enough. Of course, all the really good uh, locations up there that you could potentially snipe from are blocked off.
This one isn't. That was probably not very useful. I stand corrected. Ah. I'm not sure if that's a window or an actual hole in the geometry. Either way, it's something I should be able to shoot through. So interesting. I don't think I've ever really looked at that particular area. Looks interesting, at least. Well, if it was an enemy up there, that would have been a perfect throw. Still alive? Yes, he is. A bit closer than I uh, thought he was. I think I got him. Good, good, good. There's the exit. And I think I kind of proved myself wrong there, so I'm going to pick this up instead of the assault rifle. You know, honestly, that first shot should have hit. Try to take out that turret, even though it won't do anything. Well, it'll slow the frame rate down. I know that much. Alright, these turrets are shit. I'm not gonna bother with it. Hello. I didn't think that Wraith over there would have been so concerned with me. You are not running me down, buddy. Die already. God, just cannot get that guy way off, way out there. Is that a marine in it? It was. Right, you have fun with that. So I'm going to take this sniper rifle. I'm uh, using the pistol here instead of the sniper because I want to use this ammo up so I don't feel bad for picking up the uh, rocket launcher. Which I'm going to do very uh, shortly here. Kind of annoyed with how how the uh, pistol never took this guy out. This is incredibly stupid, considering you know all the shots were spot on. Give me that. We've got a lot of sniper ammo laying around up here. I 
Hope I didn't actually oh. accidentally pick up one of the boxes. Come on, Marine, get in here before we blow up. I just have to remember to come back here and pick up some more ammo. One of the things that sucks is I have to be really careful about how I get into con combat because I don't have any, you know, standard regular weaponry. How's that for smooth, buddy? Matt, eh, you're you're alive. You'll be fine. Alright, I should be able to return fire now. <laughs> I'm surprised the Warthog didn't roll over and uh, didn't kill me. Right there. Then he ran right into me. Come on, you little bastard. A bit unfortunate, really. Marine dying and all. Again, maybe if I sped over here, picked up the power up, and started blasting away instead of trying to use up all the pistol ammo before doing so, I might have been able to save some of them. Ah, but details, details. Levels completable with or without them. I gotta say, one thing I don't like about this level is how it started this session's uh, bad frame rate. And it sucks to go through the entirety of the last level just fine. No frame rate issues whatsoever. Get into here, and it does the whole typical, I'm going to occasionally slow down on you. Why? I don't know. I just felt like doing it. Holy shit, Marines, you are terrible. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. The uh, machine gun is for some reason bound to the grenade button. Forgot this game made no sense like that. Well, that kind of sucks. I'm already without any uh, support in this area. And unlike the last one, this is where the support really comes in handy. I've got to say, I do like how this game actually gives you an indication of when you're going to be able to fire the cannon again. Unlike the other ones where you just kind of have to wait it out and spam the fire button. Hoping that the next time you press it, it'll be ready to, sh you know... Shoot. What a shame, though. What a shame. Yep, that's right. Already forgot. Grenade button shoots machine gun for some reason. Let's drive around this path. I don't normally take this one, from what I remember. And I don't know why. The Covenant placed their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. Ah, crap. Barely dodged that one. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. This is where the uh, Marines riding on the side becomes... you know, very useful. They can, uh... Blast away at all these chumps while you're focusing on the tank. Of course, it would also be nice to be able to independently control where you're steering, where you're aiming. And hell, that's not impossible to do on a console. I'm already down to no help. That's alright, I think there's a med kit laying around back. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. <laughs>
Of course, for all the praise I gave the, uh, the first game here for letting you know when you can fire the tank again, I have to uh, complain a bit about how just how bad the machine gun is. You can clearly see how horribly inaccurate it is. Again, the main cannon and doesn't seem that accurate either. That turret's the last real uh, major threat in this area. Good God, actually hit something already. Little higher by the looks of it. <sighs> I honestly don't know how much of this is because you know, the HUD stretches in widescreen, and how much of it is just, you know, weapons being horribly inaccurate without any particularly good reason. Well, let's just head back to the uh, crashed pelican. I think, if I remember right, there is a health kit left there if, it, if I didn't pick it up last time I was around. So yeah, basically... Well, actually... No, there is a reason to take that route instead of this one. Less stuff fights you. Less stuff shoots at you. And 30 other ways to say it. Ah, uh, yeah, I did pick up... I did pick up the health kit already. Damn. It does bring up another point about the uh, Halo games that has always annoyed me. Wait, I did annoyed me to say it properly. Like, why is it your personal player character's health that de de determines when you die in a vehicle? Like, th they should really just set it so that all vehicles have a health, you know, a health level thing, and when the vehicle health goes down to a minimum, you die. That's, oh, uh, the vehicle's invulnerable, but you'll some somehow die eventually if you take too much damage. This doesn't make any sense, and it isn't fun, and I hit the wrong button. 